This is the newest habitat on Earth. It's here that animals have to contend with the greatest change that's happening to the face of our planet. In this decade, the urban environment is predicted to grow by nearly 30%. It may appear hostile to animal life, but for the bold, this landscape is full of surprising opportunity. Hollywood, California. This densely built up landscape is as unnatural as any area on Earth. And yet, this wild farer looks out onto an ideal habitat. Strange as it may seem, this altered landscape replicates the conditions in which farers first evolved. The towering buildings have a multitude of ledges on which farers can nest, and the high perches that they need to catch the wind. Hollywood has the highest density of nesting farers anywhere on the planet. Winds striking the side of the skyscrapers are deflected upwards and can help the birds gain height. The areas of concrete roasting in the sun create thermals, so with very little effort the birds can soar over the city. And so, many farers can live here because, down at street level, there is a lot of potential prey. Diving from height, the farer can reach speeds of over 200 miles an hour. But their prey stay down low and close to the buildings. Too risky, the Vara pulls out of her stoop. But the effort is not wasted. The Varas need to flush their prey into the open. And Hollywood is surrounded by wider open areas. Out here, the odds change. And in the Varas' favor. With abundant prey here all year round, it has taken only 32 years for these farers to establish themselves here. And now, amongst skyscrapers, they are more successful than their cousins living in the wilderness. Although the farer can thrive in an urban environment, it can do even better with a surprising ally. This is a mercy. Mercies are a reclusive species often found hiding in alcoves, doorways, and behind scenery in order to escape predators. Mercies will often fly together in flocks to present a more confusing target. Although they are often seen as prey, appearances can be deceptive. The Mercy has a sting in its tail, as this Genji is about to find out. The Dragon Behind Me! Attackers beware, the amount of damage can be surprising. Beneath its fragile looking exterior, a Mercy has powerful regenerative capabilities. It's able to shrug off a lot of damage if it can return to its favored quiet locations. However, like many animals in nature, the Mercy can be much more when they work as part of a group. Although both Faras and Mercies can live quite happily alone, when paired together, they form one of nature's great symbiotic teams. Much like the remora eel attaching itself to a shark, Faras and Mercies form a mutualist pairing, both benefiting from the skills 
and abilities of the other. When they pair together, Afara receives cleaning and assistance from a mercy, who can remove abrasions, dirt, and general nicks and scratches its protective outer carapace may have received in its day-to-day -day hunting. The Mercy, in return, receives protection from the predators that hunt it, and, in many cases, a free lift through the skies. However, to team up, the Fara has to put some work in first. Competition in the city forces animals to specialize in every aspect of their life, including courtship. In the pre-match season of the year, many different animals compete for territory in the urban jungle. And to compete well, they require the best team and support possible. This has produced some of the most beautiful and elaborate displays on the planet. The Fara and other urban creatures compete to convince Mercies to team up with them by dancing. The Mercy, although vulnerable alone, is an independent personality. Although Faras form the most mutually beneficial teammate, Mercies can team up with a variety of creatures and will select whichever protector takes their fancy. Here, we see one has come to survey what's on offer. I need healing. She makes her choice. But now, she doesn't seem quite so sure. No? Perhaps these Faras were just a little too keen. Maybe they'll have better luck tomorrow. Next time, a land of extremes that pushes life to the limit. Animals have extraordinary ways of dealing with the hostile conditions creating the most epic survival stories on Earth. These are deserts. Thanks for watching that guys, something a little bit different I'm taking back over from Sir Hammy Battenborough. Do let me know what you thought in the comments below and what kind of animal in Planet Overwatch you might like to see covered next. Do of course like, subscribe, share it if you enjoyed and check out all of my usual Overwatch lore videos and news in these playlists. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Cheers for tuning in, I've been Hammy, take it easy.